let's move so we got this thing all right got some effect over here the next thing that we have to do is to add this text the weekend and the date all right to do that if you remember i had never deleted these text layers what i'm going to do is we'll just drag them over here okay now there's some concept of layers okay if you see there are various layers which are available on this artboard okay and you see that this when i click on this the weekend text okay this comes below these rectangles and these other text layers okay but see if i move it over there it's getting covered by this rectangle or image or something okay because like basically the rectangle fill all right so i'll move it down because the layers are in the form of a stack so the layer that you last placed is at the top okay now to get rid of it i will just select this text the weekend okay i will select this layer from the left panel and i will just drag it to the top okay just drag it to the top now if you try to move it it will come above this rectangle all right so i will just select the size of it it's 32 i will make it 32 Just place it at the edge of this image and our main artboard. All right. As for the date, I'll do the same. I'll just take this concert over here and I will change the date. Right, just a second. We'll change the text. Right, just a second. There's some problem over here. move it over there actually i'm not able to change the text of it there's some problem all right now you can double click it to change the text or you can uh, go to this T text tool and click on it again. So now I will change it to November 28 and the time will be like 6 p.m. Okay, this much is done. You can see that there is some other color over here. This color, I will just go to the fill. As I told you, there's a hex value which is for every color, okay? So I'll just copy this color value, which is A5A2A2. You copy it, okay? And I will go over here. I will change it to this value. So it becomes gray. Next thing is the font size and the font weight, okay? You can see the font size is 14 and the font weight is regular. Okay, so I'm going to do the same over here. I'll make it font size to 14 and the font weight to regular. All right, so this, this, done. this job is done. Next thing is to change this character spacing. Okay, this is 100 over here. I would like to make it zero. So let us come closer. All right. So all of this is done. Okay. Next up is this little button over here, as you can see. Okay, this to return back. So I'll do one thing. This little square, white colored. Okay. I will just going to drag it, but you can see it's uh, coming below the rectangle that we made using gradient. So I will just drag the layer with of this the rectangle 33 and i will make it over there okay make it to the top so now i can easily drag it 
so the height and the width is 60 I will do the same 60 and 60 next thing that you can see over here is like uh, there's a problem and that problem is it has it is basically a bit transparent it is translucent okay why is that because the opacity is 31 percent okay like we did earlier we're just going to change the opacity of it all right change the opacity value to 31 percent okay and you can see that the radius is 10 the corner radius and here it's 5 so i'll do the same make it 10 align it a little with the text below the weekend text okay and then is this icon okay now this icon basically i just imported it using some plugins in the xd community but you can even make it like it's really simple by using the text tool all right click over here and this symbol okay this symbol that you see it is available on your keyboard as well all right and just change the fill to white and uh, i change the weight to bold or uh, let me make it extra bold i will change the size to maybe 25 i guess will work okay so it's not that proper as that icon but still it would work okay all right this is the icon this is a bit more spread but uh, i use the text to you make it all right this symbol is available on your keyboard okay near shift